Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of what the difference is between a PayPal standard account and a PayPal commerce platform enabled PayPal account when it comes to what your buyers see during an e-commerce checkout. So when you're onboarding for or signing up for or connecting a payment provider to our payable apps, you might see that there are two different PayPal options, one called PayPal Standard and one called PayPal Commerce Platform. PayPal Standard is really just a PayPal Standard account. So it could be a personal account, a business account, available in 130 different regions around the world. So PayPal Standard is by far the most common and versatile PayPal account. If you have a PayPal account, it's most likely a PayPal Standard account. So when you connect PayPal Standard to payable apps, your checkout page will probably look like something like this for your buyers. So when your buyers come, they'll see a stack of PayPal Smart Payment buttons. No matter which one of these buttons a customer chooses, the money will go into your PayPal account, which is pretty easy and straightforward. You'll notice the bottom button is called Debit or Credit Card. And what this is called often is the PayPal Inline Guest or their Guest Checkout. So although this looks like an okay way for guests to kind of key in card numbers who might not have a PayPal account, and when you're selling to sellers, not everyone is going to have a PayPal account. So some will see this debit or credit card option and wanna enter their card information directly. And that is fine. And it works great for very small sellers uh, to be able to collect the odd debit or credit card. That said, this is not a true card checkout. Um, what happens is if a user already has a PayPal account associated with this email address or potentially the funding instrument that they have on file, they might start to receive some weird errors as they're trying to go through this checkout. PayPal might say, hey, uh, try another card or um, checkout not available. There could be a broad range of errors that your customer might see. And that's because this checkout is really designed only for guests, people who don't have a PayPal account already. And sometimes sellers, sorry, buyers, will forget that they maybe have a PayPal account or that it's associated with something else. Uh, this checkout is very hard for us to debug because uh, a lot of the errors are, are captured in JavaScript that we can't get and we have trouble reporting on. So because of that, PayPal actually offers in most countries like Australia, Canada, the United States, and the UK, the ability for you to upgrade your card checkout for free to what they call advanced card. So to get an advanced card checkout, which is a more powerful checkout where no matter what card number somebody enters, PayPal will attempt to process it for you, whether it's associated with a PayPal account or not, you're actually being go through a little bit of extra vetting to, and you're given the trust to process cards directly. Whereas with the PayPal standard account, you're not really trusted as much. So this gives you an extra level of trust as a seller and PayPal is trusting you a little bit more. Um, so this card checkout, we really recommend anyone who thinks that they're gonna raise maybe over $1,000 or $2,000 that they try to go through the PayPal commerce platform upgrade process. The other main benefit of upgrading to PayPal commerce platform is when you log into your PayPal account, you're gonna be able to process cards directly um, right inside the UI using virtual terminal. So if I'm inside my PayPal account and I go into pay and get paid and then virtual terminal, once you've been upgraded to PayPal commerce platform, you could key sales in here directly. So I could, uh, if I needed to charge somebody $35 and I had their card number or we spoke over the phone because they were unable to use the internet, I could key in card data right here um, into my virtual terminal, which is really kind of cool. Also, any other transactions that were done using the advanced card checkout, so anyone who had entered a paid with a card this way, I could go to that transaction inside my PayPal platform and place additional charges on it. I could say, place another charge on this card. If somebody forgot they actually wanted to add an extra ticket or something like that, I could do that for them from within inside my PayPal account. Uh, when you have a PayPal standard account, once the user has entered the information and moved the money, that's it. You have no more rights to uh, add additional payments or key in card data directly inside your PayPal account. So. Again, PayPal Commerce Platform is just giving you that extra trust so you can touch and handle and add additional charges to customer cards. It's definitely worth it. Uh, the other thing I wanna bring up is pricing. So it's free in most places, uh, I think everywhere, to upgrade to a PayPal Commerce Platform. There's no additional $20 a month or anything like that. Back in the day, you know, PayPal used to have what they called PayPal Pro. And PayPal Pro was kind of similar. It gave you that pro ability to, to charge cards, 
but they charged you $20 a month for it. There's no additional charge for PayPal commerce platform, so it's free, uh, no additional charge. The other thing that is interesting is you're actually going to save money on your credit card processing. When you enter a credit card number here in this inline card checkout, it's going to get processed as a guest checkout, a branded guest checkout transaction. And you know, as of the latest, PayPal standard inline guest cards pay 3.49%. This would just be the standard rate that is listed on uh, PayPal's merchant fees. When you compare that to the advanced card entry at only 259 plus 49 cents, so you're going to say, save a full percent if somebody was to pay you via an advanced card entry versus a guest uh, card entry. So that can be huge um, for you in savings. So if you do have the time and you are in a country like the Canada, United States, Australia, it's definitely worthwhile to upgrade your PayPal account. Uh, to be able to take the advanced card checkout. Not only is it going to work better for your customers, it's going to save you money, and it gives you a couple extra features as well. So I hope that was a helpful overview. If you have any questions about uh, PayPal Standard versus PayPal Commerce Platform, uh, do message us in the comment questions. We can do that. The other thing I'm going to do is in the link below in the description, I will include a link to upgrade your PayPal account from PayPal standard to PayPal commerce platform. Sometimes this link can be hard to find. And what that will do for us anyways at uh, Payable Apps is as soon as your account is upgraded, your checkout will automatically switch from looking like this to looking like this. So we will automatically upgrade it for you inside of any of our Payable Apps, the checkout will change automatically. Um, if you're using an, another uh, application like Wix or Weebly or WooCommerce, you're going to have to look at that integration and see what they support as far as PayPal Commerce Platform goes. But uh, generally for us, we will do it automatically. No other changes needed. Um, the only other comment is if you have a brand new PayPal account, brand, brand new, um, we recommend before going live with PayPal Commerce Platform as a new seller, make sure you add a bank account to your PayPal account, maybe add a credit card to your PayPal account. You want your PayPal account uh, as a seller to have some trust in it so that when buyers come to buy from your advanced card checkout, PayPal is trusting. We've seen some uh, brand new PayPal accounts have risk declines against them. So just make sure you uh, add as much funding instruments and as many much information to your PayPal account uh, before you go live with the advanced card checkout. If you've already had a PayPal account for a period of time and you just upgrade it, you'll probably be fine and good to go. So uh, that at the end of the day is the difference between PayPal standard and the inline guest checkout and the PayPal commerce platform enabled PayPal account and advanced card checkout. Thanks again. Uh, and any questions, don't hesitate.